In my next uh, few videos, I'm going to show you how to select information that belongs to a particular user, but this information is stored in a different custom parse class. So for example, I have a user table or users class, and this class stores all the users that are registered in my mobile application. And I also have a class called books. And this class stores a list of books that belong to this and many other different users. And my application needs to display a list of books that belongs to one particular selected user. So uh, one user has one or many books. And um, this is also a demonstration or how to implement one to one or one to many relationship um, in your application that uses parse. One user can have one book or one user can have many books. And this can be applied to uh, many different uh, use cases. For example, you might be building a music application and then one user can have one or many playlists and one playlist can have one or many music uh, items associated with it. So uh, one to one and one to many is a very powerful concept and uh, knowing how to implement it with parse, you will be able to build um, many different features. So I will build a little application with you uh, which will work um, this way. So we will use table view, uh, which will list, uh, which will display users that uh, all the users that are registered with our mobile application. So this list of users will come from a users class and I will display them by first name. So my uh, users class have first name and last name and I will display first names only. And then when uh, you tap on one of the users, for example, I'll tap on Michael and uh, we will uh, take the um, selected user information and we'll pass it on, pass it forward to a different view controller, which is going to be also a table view controller. And uh, this information will um, be displayed already from a uh, books class. So we will look, uh, we will query books class for uh, books that belong only to this selected user. And uh, once we uh, tap on the uh, book, um, one of the books displayed, we will also list down some uh, details of that book. Um, for example, we can list a book title or book um, object ID, or we can even list a uh, user that this book belongs to because um, this uh, book is linked with uh, a user with uh, a pointer which we are going to discuss later and if i click on users here i'm going to take uh, it's going to take me to that particular user so uh, having access to this record having access to a book record and the user's pointer uh, we can uh, display uh, information about the user that owns this book. So a very simple example, but very powerful. We learn how to read information from parse. We learn how to implement one-to-one -one or one-to-many relationship in uh, parse. We learn how to use parse pointer, and we learn how to pass information forward from one controller to uh, another view controller. We learn how to build uh, table view and how to build table uh, view uh, controller, which is this one. Um, and um, so one uh, little example, but many uh, useful um, tips in it. Okay, so uh, let's continue now.